Well, we're back uh, right here in the studio, and our guests that we have with us this evening, we have with us uh, Safa Khanj, and uh, Ms. Safa is the editor of the Little Plato magazine, a very popular children's magazine right here in the state of Kuwait. Uh, Safa, we'd like to welcome you to Hela Kuwait. Thank you, and I'm happy and honored to be your guest today. Well, it's nice to have you with us right here in the studio. We know you have a, a very busy schedule. You've had a lot yes, of meetings, and we appreciate your time with us right here on Hela Kuwait. Uh, first you. off, maybe you could tell our audience a little bit about the idea behind the Little Plato magazine, please. Uh, actually, we started uh, working on this idea like about five years ago, maybe a little bit more than five years ago. Mm -hmm. And um, we, we had, at the beginning, we were discussing how to uh, be able to present a product to children that would be engaging, that would be fun, that would be entertaining. And at the same time, we could like embed in it a message about health, how to stay healthy, because we know that uh, the problem of diabetes, of obesity, is we have a great problem in the region and at all, and especially in the Gulf countries. Yeah, and Kuwait, and, uh, the uh, and Kuwait. rates of diabetes is mm, very it's high. Very high. It's very high. I don't want to talk to about it. It's very high. It's alarming. We have we have all to be engaged about it, and I think it's in all the region. It's not only in Kuwait. I mean, if any country think that they don't have it, they really have it, but they maybe they don't have the the real data. The statistics for that, yeah. The statistics, uh, yeah, everybody is at risk of getting diabetes th these days. And so it was uh, first, I mean, I was approached by uh, the Dasman Diabetes uh, the Institute. Institute in Kuwait by Dr. Kazem Babahani. He was uh, thinking and he was worried that the message is not getting to people. The message is not, the outreach is not so large. Especially to the youth, I think. Exactly. It's uh, because uh, we have witnessed uh, some diabetes cases of diabetes di type 2 diabetes, which is very alarming mm. among children as young as 11 years old. And this means that it started building up early, much earlier in life. And we think, and many of the research have shown that it is uh, strictly related to um, diet and to lifestyle which first we are accusing like lack of movement of moving and of uh, like eating unhealthy food mm -hmm. um, change of life people being indoor uh, not uh, going outdoor not having a very play. sedentary lifestyle not exactly not enough activity exactly and and to do to change this it's not easy it's very, very difficult and you have to find a way to motivate people. Mm -hmm. You cannot anymore lecture children. They will not accept it. You cannot patronize them. They will not accept it. You cannot just uh, uh, take, um, like put the message all day long that eat healthy, uh, run, uh, drink water, uh, don't eat sweet. It doesn't work. You have to build it in, in the environment. You have to make it a part of their daily life. You have to make it like it and love it they will not listen to you if they tell you okay go and brush your teeth it doesn't work he mm. will tell you okay i forgot i'll do it tomorrow yeah you've got to come at the children with a different angle exactly something that they can relate to a little bit exactly so what we thought about we had like a team of uh, professor educators of psychologists of um, media people communicators of artists mm -hmm. designers uh, we had like maybe a lot of, we made a lot of uh, meetings, we traveled in different places, we bought uh, like uh, more than 200 magazines wow. all over the region Just in to the get Arab an idea, countries huh? and in, in Europe, in, uh, in America. Mm -hmm. We were also revising the um, website, new website, how are they approaching children, what is the message in, contained in their uh, games and places. We didn't find health there. Mm -hmm. Everything we were finding is entertainment, is um, songs, music, uh, drama, and even terrible drama with like adult ideas and things like this. Mm -hmm. So the challenge was how are we going to present an artistic um, uh, content, product, model, 
that will eventually we are, we will come to this we will eventually be we will change it from print because you see now we have the print copy mm -hmm. um, we are going to change this from print we are going to uh, have it online and we are going to have um, movies educational movies music wow. and games we'll get into all that a bit we later will. On. We uh, will. but uh, Mustafa now maybe our audience would like to know a little bit about the magazine okay. what's it about a little uh, idea let's say this one in your hand now what is the content what's uh, it about a little Plato is a whole world. Mm -hmm. It's a world, a magic world, where we have two children. Mm -hmm. We were, we worked a lot on creating the character. It was a teamwork to create mm -hmm. it. We sent it all over, so people agreed on it. We chose the names even. We wanted something that people relate to. We wanted uh, children, I mean, characters that have the features colors and the names of the children who are in our countries. This is why we called them Jason and Dana. Mm -hmm. So we gave them. So this this product is not an imported product. It's a product that we uh, created it from A to Z and mm -hmm. we are still creating and producing it. And it, it's, it all comes from Show the, us another one too, while from the gathering, the gathering of like um, uh, uh, people who are working on it are doctors, mm -hmm. physicians, educators, we have uh, scientists, we have researchers, we have uh, psychologists, we have media people, so we have all writers. different backgrounds. Yeah, we have all different backgrounds and they are all working on, on, on this magazine to bring us this product, which is more than a magazine. It's an education tool, an awareness tool that can be used in school, that can be used at home, that can be used in even in entertaining programs. It can be used uh, in... Uh, in parks, in, in I'm, uh, I'm sorry, in, in like uh, galleries, in uh, uh, wherever children are, wherever children can be present, even at, at restaurants, you can provide it while they are playing, they can get it, they can read it. And we should inform our audience too at this point that this is bilingual, Arabic and English. Of course, we have it in Arabic and we are not translating. We write and most of the content is written in Arabic or in English mm -hmm. and then we rewrite it in the other language. Great. And uh, the people who write in Arabic, they only know Arabic and they proofread in Arabic. And people who write English, they know only English. And we have only two persons who make the link between them. Mm -hmm. And so because we don't want any translation, we don't want those who write in English to translate from Arabic into English. And we don't want those who write in Arabic to translate from English into Arabic. Of course, you will see the same material, but sometimes we have little differences because of the cultural issues sure. and um, uh, twist things like this uh, of course which to fit i mean so we don't have any cultural clashes or something exactly. like this. so tell us now an example of one of the magazines mm -hmm. what's the content what's inside okay. choose uh, one and just tell our audience please since our message is about uh, diabetes mm. diabetes and to prevent diabetes mm -hmm. and obesity in general about a healthy message in general mm -hmm. so after long study we decided that this magazine is going to contain information about diabetes but it is only about 25 percent about diabetes mm -hmm. everything else is about health in general mm -hmm. and about culture about the world around us everything is related and correlated i cannot talk about a mountain without talking about the snow and the water sure. and how the trees grow and how they we all can, go we together have to, we have to protect them and we have to walk and we mm -hmm. have to enjoy it and we mm -hmm. have to breathe I mean clean air so for example I can give you some of our issues are directly related to diabetes because they are uh, based on the recommendation of our doctors and physician at this man mm -hmm. because we have patients you have patients at man that they come on a daily basis and they uh, see they come to see their doctor they needed a guide mm -hmm. they needed something to encourage them to take care of their health and themselves mm -hmm. so for example I can give you this is one of our first issues mm -hmm. it's about uh, this girl, Dana, mm -hmm. she's like seven years old mm -hmm. and she has type 1 diabetes. Okay. In this issue, we are going to discover that Dana Keep is... Keep it still a little bit. Go ahead. Okay. Dana is having the symptoms of type 1 diabetes. Mm -hmm. So in this issue, we are telling parents, if you see these symptoms on a child, please take them to the doctor mm -hmm. to check and to see. And then we explain what is diabetes. Mm -hmm. And we see that the parents are worried they are in black mm. and they are worried and the mm -hmm. child is sleeping she's resting she's mm -hmm. not going to school this day mm. today and so we are engaging the parents with the teacher and then the brother okay. who is worried about his sister mm -hmm. and he is going to ask the question what is diabetes and we explain diabetes okay and then we are going to show them that it's not 
uh, very difficult to contain and to uh, to Once you learn about it, manage. you can manage things. Once you learn about it, you will be able to manage it. And the most important thing that is the message we give that Dana is going to live, Dana is going to live a normal life mm -hmm. if she is able to manage her diabetes. Mm -hmm. And we will later on we will learn how she will manage her diabetes, and we will give like cases of hypoglycemia, hyperglycemia, and we will tell parents how they can treat this situation, how they can manage what they need to do. And so this is all observed and um, supervised by physician. Do you Every have little word. messages too, I think, in there too? And yes, things sure. About Here's diet. For example, we Tell us about the content more. We en encourage them to eat uh, fruit. Yes. Okay. And we explain what is fruit and why they are important to us. And what's nice um, about this magazine, I like it's always very colorful and cheery. Here, for example, we talk about Keep that still, about the insulin. Uh -huh. And we explain to children the best way to tell them insulin is a key. Mm -hmm. And this key is going to open our cells and to let the sugar pass. Mm -hmm. If we don't have this key, we will have diabetes. So it's, it's a very simple way to explain a big problem for yeah. children. But Something we have that to do kids it. can relate to of course, in of a course. nice way too. And you see that we use um, very short text. Mm -hmm. We use also, um, uh, always we have dialogue mm -hmm. among the characters. Very nice. So Jasim is with uh, his sister Dana and then we have Betty, mm -hmm. she's the, the rabbit. And we have the bear mm -hmm. who is bingo, he's somebody who likes to eat, he loves food, he loves sugar, he's always having cookies and emergency cookies. Bingo is the one with the sweet tooth. Yes, he's <laughs> a sweet tooth and he's always in trouble. Okay. And then we have uh, the hoopoe, mm -hmm. it's the messenger, mm -hmm. it's the Plato, okay. who is always explaining to children and uh -huh. telling them what is the best thing to do, but in a very kind and friendly way. We don't lecture, as mm -hmm. we said, mm -hmm. we, we, are, we try to avoid it. So as you see, we always we always make our message simple. Mm -hmm. We give it in steps, we give it in numbers, we give it in like one, two, three. So, and they are related and separated. So a child can, if he doesn't want to read one, two, three, he can read only this. Mm -hmm. It's enough for us. If he takes one message, we are very happy about it. What we saw, it was uh, really, mm, and then if you see that in the magazine, here, for example, we are explaining how the sugar is taking glucose mm -hmm. together to open the door of the cell, mm -hmm. to enter and give sugar to the cell, so we can play, we can think, we can move, and we can live. Mm -hmm. This is the most in in interesting. <coughs> then here we have a story about Ibn Sina. Okay. Ibn Sina is well known that he had like uh, some, um, try. He was trying to uh, treat people with diabetes, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. we talk about one case of him trying to treat diabetes. And then we have um, we have some healthy recipes. These are, of course, prepared by the chef at the Asman Diabetes mm -hmm. Institute. Chef George. And yeah. uh, Chef George is. And you have a little um, drawing thing there too. Yes, and uh, he will always choose and change recipes to make them healthy mm -hmm. and healthier for everybody, not only for diabetes patients. Everybody has to, to eat well. Follow a good diet, yes. Uh, then we start having, we have some experiments for children, for the playing, for the time. Great, that's you I mean, see. It's a and beautiful then magazine. Then we have games, oh, okay. plenty of games for children. Okay. The games are used to uh, emphasize the message. Mm -hmm. So. To answer the, the to answer the game to play the game they have to read the the, episode, the mm. sections because there are many of many of the questions are related to the sections. So Safa, the target audience for this are children from what age or is it adults uh, too? What um, actually and oh, of course we have some pages for adults here. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, when we we designed the magazine and when we prepared it, we were thinking about uh, children in the elementary school. Mm -hmm. What we have seen in practice is that children, even as young as four years old, mm -hmm. are loving it. Even if they cannot read, they are liking the characters, the stories. Mm -hmm. And they are asking their parents. So this, in this way, we 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 like it created a quality time. You know, mm -hmm. parents are, have the opportunity to take this magazine, sit with their children. They will talk to them. They will spend some quality time with them, mm -hmm. and they will explain to them. It's enough for us to say, to say. I mean, to ask, who is this? What is he doing? What is she doing? What mm -hmm. he says? What she says? And the message will go through. 
And here we're taking a look, I believe, at the website, if you can take a look at the stuff on the monitor. Yeah. You have a very active website, Facebook page. Uh, tell us about that, please. Uh, actually, we have a new website now that mm -hmm. is very dynamic and mm -hmm. very um, user-friendly uh, user -friendly and uh, uh, it is full of games. Mm -hmm. Here, maybe, I don't know if you can see the games, we have a game called Canon Game, mm -hmm. uh, where children learn how to differentiate between uh, healthy and unhealthy food. Mm -hmm. uh, it has 12 levels okay. and when children play it, in uh -huh. the end, I mean, with every child who played it until the 12, they finish it in, in two hours. I cannot finish it in two hours, <laughs> I need maybe three days. And uh, when they finish it, uh, they come to their parents and tell them, you are not giving us healthy food. Mm. I need to eat healthier. And so for us, this is fantastic because we achieved a goal. I mean, we are able to pass our message. And the website's the littleplatooneword.com, correct? Yes, it's littleplato.com And if they want Arabic, it's littleplato.com slash AR. Okay. They can uh, sign up. They can then sign, log in. And then later they will be uh, able to subscribe. And to have full, they will use all the products we have. Like uh, we will have movies. Okay. We will have uh, the hard copy, uh, the the comics in one page, wow. in one frame each, and they will be able to like uh, uh, read it, mm -hmm. or they will be read to them. They can uh, push, and it will speak. There is voiceover in Arabic and in English. We will have the cartoon comics, mm -hmm. like on TV. They will uh, the characters is full cartoon, and we will also have. Um, uh, the sections, educational sections. So every section, like we talk now about insulin, it will be in uh, uh, in a movie of like two to three minutes, okay. and children can watch, can learn a lot from it. You also have a very active Facebook page. Tell yes. us what that yeah, page is. That it's page is uh, little Play -Doh? Is amazing. Yeah. In, in no time, in a very short time, we were able to to have like uh, 180,000 followers. That's the Facebook page. That's the and there we are posting. Uh, mostly um, awareness posts about uh, international events, international occasions, opportunities, mm -hmm. uh, even that they are not all health related. Health is like always 25% of our uh, posts mm. because we have a message about health, but everything matters. It's not only health. And mm. we want to engage a wide range of people and uh, bring them to us, make them trust us, get to know us get to know that this place they will yeah, find something they nice like. it's a very nice page, the Facebook page. I mean, I'm myself, glad you liked but it. it's very nice and very easy to look at and very useful information also. And, you know, unfortunately, we have so much more that we could talk about. Time has just went by so quickly <laughs> it's okay. as we're winding up this interview. Uh, what's the future hold for? What's the next few stages, if you can briefly tell us about that as we're winding <sighs> up the interview? We are now preparing for a play, uh -huh. a theater play. Great. It's a big, big event for okay. us. We are trying to like um, find a little budget for it. Uh, we are uh, working with some artists. They are going. Uh, they are now at this time writing the uh, script, preparing mm -hmm. for the music for the songs, and we are preparing new mascots for the uh, characters. And I hope uh, by the beginning of the year we will have a full theater Inshallah, play. we look forward to that. And just so the audience now watching right now, uh, the magazine is being distributed at various schools in the state That's of Kuwait. Right. And if someone's interested out there, they could stop by Desman Diabetes Institute and get some copies, correct? Yes, sure. And they can also write to us on the website, info at littleplato.com. Uh -huh. And we will make, we will do our best to make it available to them. That's great to hear that. Thank and, you. Uh, we thank you so much for joining us thank right you. here on Hela Kuwait. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. So we were speaking to uh, Ms. Safa Khanj, who is the editor of the Little Plato magazine, a very popular children's magazine right here in the state of Kuwait. If you're interested in the magazine, please uh, stop by Desman Diabetes Institute. We can provide you with some copies. Uh, the Facebook page, we had that on earlier, and the website. Feel free to uh, log on and leave any comments that you may have. Uh, they'll reply to you as soon as possible to all your suggestions and comments. Uh, with that, we come to the end of tonight's episode of Hala Kuwait. Hope you enjoyed all that we brought to you. Make sure to enjoy the rest of your viewing tonight and all throughout the week right here on KTV2, the family channel.